All right, with the cover off, it looks like this. Um, with the exception of this, this is the starting point in the manual for the steps to remove the gear and shafts, gears and shafts. Uh, this may or may not be here. I put it back here just to show that there's a Woodruff key. This sits inside of the forward clutch hub and it's likely to uh, fall out as you lift this and stick to the hub. This will probably drop inside, but you can fish it out. Uh, this goes with the teeth down. Um, there is a couple of thrush washers and bearing there, but I'm gonna remove this just so we don't lose the Woodruff key and set this aside. That is basically the starting point in the manual right here. And then the next, next is uh, to remove the idle gear assembly, which is this guy here. So this will come up bearings and all off of the shaft. And there are thrust bearings on either side and washers. I am going to keep those as best I can in the orientation they're originally in and the order that they originally found in. What I do also for this one, because there is a lot of part, I'll just stick a coat hanger through here just to make sure things don't get mixed up and confused. Step two is remove the number seven shaft assembly, which is this guy here. So we really wanna just take this whole thing out. And then down there, there is a thrust washer, not a bearing. Again, I'll, I'll lift that out and put that on here the way it was installed while it was running. I'll set that over here. Step three is remove uh, number five shaft assembly, which is this guy here. So I'll pull this up. Out of its needle bearing. There is a gear down there. I'll take that up, insert it the way it was installed and running on the spline. There is no, no washer or bearing on this. Right, step four is remove the number four shaft assembly, which is this fellow here. So we'll just lift that out. That larger gear is behind the PTO, so you've got to slide it away. And then again, splines matched up the way it was installed and running. No thrust washer or bearing on either side. Step five is to remove the high-low range detent ball. All right, with a 5 16 opening wrench, I'm gonna remove this plug the high-low detent. I broke it loose off camera. This will pop a little bit because there's a spring in there. You want to remove the spring and the plug. Save these in a magnetic bit. What I use to get the ball that's in there out is I grab this magnetic, magnetic thing I got on Amazon. You can hear the ball snap to it and there it is. And I'll take that ball and put it in the same dish. The next step is to remove that high low range fork assembly and shaft. And that would be this guy here. So that's why we removed the detent so we could lift this shift fork out uh, and keep it intact. I'm gonna I'm gonna leave it here for a second and you'll see there's lots going on here on this guy. Uh, there is a key. This is the drive gear that the motor drives. I'm gonna put it back on so I don't lose that key in proper order. Here's another gear that goes behind this one, 
also keyed and a thrust washer, a thrust bearing, and another thrust washer, the fatter one. So I want to keep these in order that they were in during operation and uh, put this over on my shelf. Yeah, that was step six. Uh, I'll take this fork now and put it with it. Step seven is remove shaft three assembly. And that is gonna be this guy here. Remove shaft three assembly. Okay, no thrust washer or bearing. There's one on the top though. Well, a thrust washer, a spacer, and that's it. This over on my shelf. Eight is remove shaft six, which is going to be this guy. So I will. Keep this in order, remove it from the fork, shift fork, we don't like it back on the splines. There's another gear down here, I want to remove so also the other shift fork and then a single thrust washer goes on here. There that is. Gear that uh, inserts into the clutch hub, forward clutch hub, and uh, I set it back up here just to show you. But this Woodruff key, like that, you'll you'll lose that if you're not careful. And um, I should go, I should go fish it out. <laughs> 